If I asked you to describe your favorite species, you'd probably start saying things like large, charismatic, majestic, you know, something from Africa. You probably wouldn't think to describe something like this. This is a naked sucker mouth climbing catfish. Naked because they don't have any scales. Sucker mouth because that mouth does kind of suck, but it helps them cling to slippery rocks, and they can climb almost vertical surfaces. Yeah, climb. Bet you didn't know catfish could climb. <laughs> but it's okay, don't feel bad if you didn't know, because turns out we share the planet with millions of other species, most of whom we know nothing about. But these species are our neighbors, and our actions directly influence them. But if we don't even understand who our neighbors are, how are we supposed to understand our impact on the planet's biodiversity? It has taken us about 250 years to describe about 1.7 million species. But at this rate, it's going to be 500 years or more before that list is complete. We don't have that kind of time, and neither do the climbing catfishes. This map from Public Library of Science shows all of the current proposed hydroelectric dam projects that are going in in their habitat area. There's about 150 in total that are going to be put in in just the next 20 years. We don't have 500 years to waste. We need a faster method to understand and describe biodiversity if we're to have any chance of conserving it. Enter DNA barcoding. Scientists like me from around the world are working together to build a new digital list of DNA barcodes that functions much like a barcode database in a retail store. Just like the barcode tags that you'd find on your clothing or your shoes or your books or basically anything you'd buy, these DNA barcodes can be used to identify and even discover a unique species. Just like these consumer barcodes could use, help us to identify a unique consumer item. My master's research has contributed about 83% of the current Barcode of Life library on climbing catfish species. I'm pretty happy about that. But... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> the mic falling off, guys. It was rough. <laughs> But knowing just who our neighbors are isn't enough if we want to conserve them. We also need to know what our neighbors need. So while I'm out fishing for DNA samples, I'm also fishing for other things. Things like stream temperature and discharge. Things that might be changed by these dam projects as they go in. So, you know, that face might be something that only a naked sucker mouth mother could love. Don't ever call my mom that, by the way. <laughs> but. The face of our planet is more beautiful because it has biodiversity like naked sucker mouth climbing catfishes. Thank you very much. Yeah.